Some of the most practical examples of themes and images that transcend cultural differences may be found, of all places, in television commercials. In my international communications courses, we look at commercials from around the world. Such advertisements are one of the most efficient forms of communication ever devised, in my opinion. They are little quantum packets of information, demographically resonant and necessarily concise. In a typical course on communications, we'll view more than 100 commercials from around the world, such as this one from Sweden for a brand of disposable diapers. Well, if there is one most universally uniting cultural commonality, it's the appeal of babies. And it ranked as the number one most transculturally resonant measure in the study. And here is one of the highest scoring baby clips in this commercial from France. An old rule in advertising is to put a dog in your commercial if you want broad appeal across a large audience. And this proved true in this study as well, with animals ranking high in student resonance close to that of babies. Here's a sample high-scoring clip from Singapore. range has arrived. Love, marriage, rifts between partners and siblings. In this study, it's a theme that transcended cultural differences, especially those that illustrated a conflict between mates, as in this clip from Mexico. The international students often seem unified in their love of sports, especially for soccer or football, as it's called around the world, even beyond provincial rivalries. And this is sometimes referred to as the international spirit of the World Cup, for example, or the spirit of the Olympics, where excellence becomes the measure. And here's one of the highly ranked sports clips, this one from Poland. In the spirit of the World Cup, IDEA connects all soccer fans by giving away for free 
the national anthem as a ringtone. Self-image is one of the more abstract themes in this study. We all have a self-image and appreciate that others have a self-image of themselves. We may not understand or relate to that image, but there does appear to be a transcultural interest in the self-image of others. And here is a highly rated clip describing how the Canadians perceive themselves. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm not a lumberjack or a fur trader, and I don't live in an igloo or eat blubber or own a dog sled. And I don't know Jimmy, Sally, or Susie from Canada, although I'm certain they're really, really nice. I have a prime minister, not a president. I speak English and French, not American, and I pronounce it about, not a boot. I can proudly sew my country's flag on my backpack. I believe in peacekeeping, not policing, diversity, not assimilation, and that the beaver is a truly proud and noble animal. The tooth is a hat, the Chesterfield is a coach, and it is pronounced dead. We're all born, live, and die. We, we have that in common across cultures, our fundamental humanity, and mortality. I joke with my students that we all share the same life cycles, and everything else is just details. The resonant life cycle theme is conveyed in this clip from Thailand. Water was difficult to specify as an isolated theme or image, but nonetheless, water appears to have a common appeal among the international students, and it may serve as a transcultural tool through possible water-related group activities, such as get acquainted excursions with a boat trip or a picnic on the shore. Beyond the academic benefits that might be gained from such transcultural tools, they could benefit similar international gatherings in business and government and other global relations as well. And further study could be useful in measuring applied transculturalism, examining just how well does it work and are there additional and perhaps even better transculturally resonant themes and images and methods for their application. For example, there appears to be some transcultural resonance in discussions of food and international music and space exploration. And ironically, as we find greater common ground to enhance our global relations, we may also come to better appreciate our differences. <laughs> 